he's getting that full plumb. And I work on getting a collar tie. I always controlling that elbow, keeping my hips away. So what I have now, sometimes it's hard to see, because it's on the video, is there's a lot of tension here and controlling his elbow here. So if I get a knee to my leg or to my body, I'm still able to actually block with his own arm uh, or I can block my ribs if he comes to my ribs, right? You know the danger of elbow or strike from here. And then from here I have a strong uh, collar tie and my elbow is actually doing a lot of control here. It comes over the punch or an elbow. I've got a lot of control. If he comes with a switch knee, I can still pull. So very strong position, collar tie up. I'm going to do the same thing. He's working his way out of my collar tie. Maybe he started with a plumb. And then I work my way to that position. You see I step and pivot. Or just a standard knee now where I showed you. I tap. I just tap and strike the knee. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of that exchange. So I'm trying to plumb him maybe. He gets inside my arm. You don't want to get uh, an arm. See that tricep control? So he can actually block when I'm trying to knee. And here, he's, he's pulling this off until he can get his own collar tie. Boom, now he's got his own collar tie. You notice again, I have an overhang to protect myself against an elbow. And I have a pressure on this elbow, which, which eventually will do this to, to cut out that arm so I can return the knee. So we have collar tie up now, and we have full plump and we go between those two grips.